today's lesson, we're going to go ahead and cover some Power Automate fundamentals. Uh, our user story here is that uh, when an account is created, our annual revenue on that account record is going to be checked to see if it's greater than $100,000. And if it is greater than $100,000, we'll go ahead and create a phone call and assign it accordingly to the owner of that particular account. So let's go ahead and uh, open up our Power Automate Lessons solution. And then let's add a new Cloudflow. Let's give it a name. All right, and now we'll look for common data service, and that'll give us the new Dataverse connector, and that's what we really want to be using. This was just released uh, today, as far as I know, so let's take a look. When a row is added, modified, or deleted, that seems like it's going to be plausible for our situation to solve this. And so uh, we want to look at the create messaging step, change type. And then for our table, we're going to choose accounts. Our scope will be organization. And we'll talk more about scope in future videos. And then uh, the other thing we want to do is uh, add a row filter. We don't want this to run all the time. We want it to run when revenue is not equal to null. So just a little bit of... Uh, syntax there and then uh, we'll add a new step and it'll be a condition pretty straightforward condition and our condition is, what it's going to do is it's going to leverage dynamic content from the trigger body <clears throat> and we'll use the annual revenue as a check and we'll check to see if it's greater than a hundred thousand and then right here in our no branch where we don't do anything we'll just terminate and use a canceled function just to know when this didn't need to run. We don't want it to necessarily fail or succeed. We want to know that it succeeds when it's supposed to succeed. And now down our yes branch, we'll get into that in a moment. But the next thing is we want to assign this activity, not the same day that the account is created, but actually let's try seven days post creation, right? So let's go ahead and um, leverage the add to time function or action. And what we'll do here is we'll use our dynamic content that we got from the trigger body, which is the created on date. And then we'll change the time unit to days and we'll say, go ahead and add seven days to whatever the date that it was created on this account. Now we can go ahead and finalize our logic. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create or add a new row. Once again, using that Microsoft Dataverse connector. And this new row is going to be a phone call. Which is fundamentally an activity on the back end and then this phone call uh, we'll just give it a kind of dynamic subject here you know account name and then revenue dollar sign and then the revenue data pass that in so now we have something that's valuable into the subject and then description you know please follow up with this client on the due date and time and our direction is going to be outbound, which is yes. And it's going to be due on our calculated time. So seven days from the created on date. Our duration, let's just set it to 30 minutes. It's looking for an integer here. And then here you have to be very careful with your syntax. So I know it says owners, but really what it's referring to is system users table. And so we're going to use the, the Dataverse connector syntax, which is slash table in plural and then open parentheses and then pass in an ID and then close parentheses so let's go ahead and pass in the owner of the account which we have we have that value and then let's close our parentheses next thing we'll do is uh, we'll map in the main phone of the account so we know which number we're dialing we'll set the priority to high for now and then once again here be very careful we're using the accounts table so we want to have the regarding of this activity this phone call 
be set to the accounts entity so that it's related. So let's go ahead and pull in the unique identifier of the account, which is right here. Close our parentheses, keep moving. Then what we're going to do is the call is from, and then we need to add a value here. So who's the call from? Well, I think the call for, should be from the owner uh, of the account, right? So once again, syntactically, um, let's do system users, open parentheses, owner. Let's make sure we pass the right owner here. <laughs> and then, of course, sometimes you'll have little wonky things here, but uh, let's pass that value in there. I'm going to go ahead and save just because we've made so much progress already. Don't want to lose any of it. <clears throat> And then the next thing we're going to do is we want to set the call to activity party. So these are activity parties associated to this record. So we're, we're making a lot of associations here. And that's important to understand in, in this Power Automate platform and this tool, how, how elaborate and powerful it is in, in connecting tables, a lot of different tables to one record, and how flexible it is. So... Now what we want to do is set our call to value and right here, as you can imagine, it's probably the account, right, that we're calling. In this case, it's a business. So we're in a B2B situation. It's a business to business. So uh, what we'll do here is we're going to say accounts and then uh, we're going to go ahead and close that parentheses, put our cursor there, type in unique. That's how I usually get the GUID. It's just easy, easy way to find it and then pass that in here save the record and I think I'm pretty happy with what we have here I think this will accomplish and serve our purpose here so let's go ahead and take this one for a test drive so it hasn't run before now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and create a new account test account with revenue greater than 100k so then what we'll do here is let's set the annual revenue to 101k okay and now let's give it a main phone so some random numbers I think we have what we need here to accomplish the test so let's save the record I'm the owner of the record in this case. I'm the only user in my environment. So what I want to do is find out, you know, did it create a phone call for this record? And usually when you first create a Power Automate job, it takes a couple minutes before it will actually go ahead and run. So we'll give it a moment. It's also possible that I didn't build this right. Um, but no, here it is. So. Here we are. So we have a phone call. Let's go ahead and uh, open this up and take a look and see how it's laid out and if everything that we wanted to happen happened, right? All right. So we have our subject. We have our mapped in revenue. Uh, we have our call from me in this case, call to the account itself, the phone number we're calling, the direction that's outgoing, the description, who it's regarding, and the duration. We also have the fact that it's due literally seven days from when it was created but even with the times I think that's very valuable to be able to be able to do that uh, so that's all I have for you today until the next power automate lesson <laughs> thank you for watching